Okay, we're back to uh, demonstrate another uh, coherent laser diode array test. Um, this right here is something I just added to it. It's an automotive uh, indoor-outdoor temperature sensor I picked up at Walmart. Um, one of these sensors is wired right here to the uh, thermistor that's going inside the laser head and that's uh, set to the inside thermistor and then we also have another thermistor that originally came inside the unit which I also wired externally over here to the output of the coolant so you can measure both temperatures of the coolant coming out and the actual head temperature inside um, with that I was able to go ahead and turn the temperature down on the uh, uh, on the uh, uh, solid state cooler here and uh, right now we're running between uh, 15 and 14 degrees Celsius uh, and if you look over here the temperature just about matches the output uh, exactly um, if I switch it here too you'll see that the temperature of the coolant out is 15.4 degrees and if you go up here it's 15 exactly so it's about right on Okay, now we're going to do something a little bit of fun here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn on the diode and we're going to attempt to burn a penny. So, uh, from here we'll go ahead and turn on the output of the power supply. And turn up the current a little bit. Take the jumper off. And then from here we're going to start turning up the power of the laser diode. And then once I start turning it up very high, you'll see the temperature actually rise on the internal head thermistor. There's 20 amps going to it, and we can see the temperature starting to rise. I'm just going to adjust the brick here so that the beam is focused. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and turn the power now all the way up to around 60 amps. The optimum operating temperature of this laser is about uh, 21 to 22 degrees Celsius. So that's basically what the uh, temperature inside the head is going to max out at, and that's why I had to adjust the uh, cooler temperature to 15 degrees. We're now at 50, uh, 50 amps and the brick is really starting to glow. Uh, I can't talk today. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 59, 60 amps. There's 60 amps and the uh, brick is now glowing white hot. And from here, I'm going to take this poor penny here, and we're going to assassinate poor Lincoln all over again. So here goes the penny into the laser. It takes a couple uh, seconds for the penny to start heating up, but once it does, as you can see, it's now smoking. It's penny smoke. Don't breathe that and uh, you'll see the penny start to change color now and there it goes, it's starting to burn There you go. Penny burnt right through the laser burnt right through the penny. And uh, that just shows you what kind of infrared energy we're dealing with here. Quite a bit. And there's our penny with a hole right through it. Well, that concludes my video. If you uh, have any suggestions of what I should kill next with this laser, go right ahead. 
Well, there's some molten metal right there. Probably zinc, mostly, since this is a uh, 80s penny. Um, if you have any suggestions on what you want to see me uh, destroy next, just let me know and uh, I'll give it a shot. But uh, the penny was kind of cool. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.